this is Yutsun from CGTrick.com and today we are going to discuss about uh, a, a Terrain software called Terrain 2. I think the pronunciation is right because it is a Terrain Generator. Let's open it. So now we are in Terrain 2 and as you can see a flat ground is already here. We are going to uh, make some terrain. We are going to make some mountains. So we're gonna click this and then click the height field generate zero one and when we click generate now you can see the mountains here so you can adjust the other parameters by yourself for example the scale or something else now we're gonna adjust the shader here is use shader button and we set the shader to background shader and we can just background shader here by shaders click base colors and we choose the color button and uh, we're gonna adjust these two colors well the high color we set this to a bright grayish color so it's brighter and the low color we set it to uh, a little bit bluish. Well, this is just an uh, example. You can adjust these colors and all the parameters by yourself. So we click OK. Now, when we click this little R button, it means open render view. We click render. So I can see. This is the preview render picture. So it is of resolution 640 by 480. So this is a very good software. And uh, the size of this software is just 5 or 6, I don't know, very small. Uh, it is of a very small size. And uh, it can um, simulate very realistic atmosphere. We have mountains and we have sky and the lights are very realistic. So now we we'll close this and um, now we're gonna change this mountain into an island. So now we click water and we add a lake. You know in these softwares uh, water lake and sea they're all the same they all means water so we're gonna let the center of the water in y-axis to higher for example we set this to 200 so no more square so when we click render you can see very good so we stop it and close this and uh, we're gonna put some atmosphere uh, so we click atmosphere as you know the atmosphere in such a software means cloud so we're gonna create cloud here we choose mid-level auto comolos 2d I don't know how to pronounce it sorry and uh, we click it so the cloud is already above the sky and uh, it has some reflections in the sea so now we are going to um, put some self-made object into this scene so we uh, open 3ds max let's enlarge this viewport so now we click shapes and we create a text. For example, it is a CG trick dot com, and we change the found to ACME, ME found regular. So we create this, and uh, in the modify panel, we give this text a bevel. And we set the height to uh, 
zero zero two, I think. Okay. And then we're gonna export this. So we choose OBJ file. C T. Okay. Then we save it. So let's say it's exported. Okay. So we close this and get back to the Terminal 2. We click Object, Add Object button. When we click this, there are two choices you can make. The first one is Object, and the second one is uh, Population. Um, so now we choose the OBJ Reader, ct.obj. The Terminal 2 will ask you if this object is from the uh, X frog. We choose No. As you can see, the obj file is already here. Make the scale a little bit larger. We uh, set it to uh, 10 by 10 by 10. And we're going to drag this into the middle. And we're going to rotate it. We set this to uh, 10 and 20 and 20. And then we're gonna drag it up so now we're gonna adjust the camera so we select camera we choose the render camera and uh, we set the rotation to minus um, minus 10 and we drag it till we can see most part of the text okay that's it so if we now render it we click this render now you can see the scene hmm. we have the obj file here you can change the shader by yourself and we have this island and water you can see the clouds is above the sky and the reflections is on the water so it is very very re realistic and uh, it is very easy to adjust well i think this uh, picture is too small and we are gonna um, create a bigger uh, picture of higher resolution so we're gonna close this and we click renderers and we choose full render and we set the image width to 1920 and um, the height we set this to 1080 so let's see what result could it be and so here's the result you can see the water the island and uh, this object and clouds and very good atmosphere and um, well i think the terrigen 2 programmer think that uh, uh, if you are in a real atmosphere you cannot um, adjust uh, the color of your shadows either so they probably think that you don't need to adjust the color of shadows if you uh, create some clouds above the sky the reflection and the shadows are already there so it is a very simple software um, this tutorial is very very basic sorry I make this tutorial is because that in the nearest future we're gonna make some comparison between uh, Terrigen 2 and VUE and um, Lumion and uh, some other plugins in 3ds Max so this is the first one